Okay, we just got that uh, new Gold Ring 400 uh, Team Catfish reel spooled up. Now I want to talk about how to rig up our uh, the, the rig that we use almost all the time. We're going to break this down into sinker slide, sinker bumper, and the sudden impact treble hook. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about sinkers, sinker slides, and, and how to get this stuff rigged up. Okay, first of all, uh, we're using 20 pound tug of war monofilament, high vis monofilament. And folks, take my word for it. Even in this crystal clear water like we've got right now, these catfish do not care what color this line is. It doesn't have to be clear to catch catfish. So you might as well use line that's high vis and easy to see. And if you're channel catfishing, the uh, 15, 20, 25 pound tug of war mono is a great choice. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and trim off about, oh, about 18 inches of line. And I'm going to tie on a swivel. But before I tie my swivel on, this is how you use the sinker bumper sinker slide in conjunction. Okay, the sinker slide always goes on your main line. It always goes on first. Okay, slides up and down your line and this is what you clip your sinkers on. Then we go down to a sinker bumper, soft rubber bumper. Remember, these are lots better than a bead. They're soft and they take all the shock out of those sinkers when they come down and they hit your swivel. Even if you're not using a sinker slide, if you're just using an egg sinker or a no roll sinker or something like that, you're gonna want to use a sinker bumper ahead of your swivel between your swivel and your sinker. Okay, then we're gonna go down to just a a standard barrel swivel, something pretty heavy duty. Don't worry about it folks, the catfish don't care how big your barrel swivels are. It's not going to make a difference. Use one that's plenty big. I'm going to go ahead, we're going to do the old improved clinch knot. We made a loop. We're going to go around it about five times. Take our tag in, go right back through the top. Let's cinch it all up right up here. Get it wet. Pull it down to the top of your swivel. Trip, trim it off and uh, now the piece that I cut uh, the, the, the piece or so this is kind of the business end right here that's going to go down to your sudden impact treble hook okay again we got one more improved clinch knot going to go five times make a loop go around it five times take this go back through the top get it wet cinch it down at the top get it wet pull it down Cinch it up real good. I'm not going to cut that one. I'm going to trim that one with my scissors. My wife gets mad at me if I use my teeth all the time. And she will watch this video. So we're down. We're ready to the business end to go down to our hook. Now, a lot of places where you're fishing for channel cats, you want a really sharp, really strong treble hook to go with the sudden impact fiber bait. You don't want to scrimp and save a bunch of money on treble hooks because when you do finally land that 8, 10, 12, 15 pound channel cat and you can catch those on sudden impact fiber bait you don't want to have a cheap junky treble hook on the end of your line so we built sudden impact treble hooks to match our bait this is a number six we're going to go right down through here going to do the same knot made a loop we're going to go around it five times tie it up get it wet cinch it all down good and that's what we're going to dip in our sudden impact fiber bait we're going to use a paint paddle we're going to dip it in the fiber bait and now i'm going to show you what sinker we use and we get these at cheapsinkers.com awesome place to get them Okay, this sinker slide has got a snap hook on it and we're going to take that snap hook and in this little river right here we're going to barely be fishing much over probably five or six foot deep but the water is going to be swift and uh, again don't worry about trying to use a sinker that's too light folks when those catfish come out and hammer that bait they don't care how heavy the sinker is they don't know what a sinker is so make sure you use plenty of heavy enough sinker to get your bait where you want it and hold it. This is a two ounce flat bank sinker. 
get them at cheapsinkers.com clip that right on there and bingo bango we are ready to rock and roll and that slides up and down your line just pretty as you please we got the sinker bumper there to stop it we got a nice swivel and a sudden impact treble hook to go in that bait and Rusty and I are going to get busy fishing some of these brush piles down through here.